Sterex Electrolysis International, a leader in the world of electrolysis. Manufacturers of Sterex sterile disposable needles and a full range of electrolysis products used by electrologists across the world in salons, clinics, hospitals, and electrolysis teaching establishments. Sterex Electrolysis International presents an educational program, How to Make Perfect Insertions. We'll be looking at the difference between the two main types of needle used by electrologists. The working techniques, showing how to make correct insertions. Hand positioning, showing various hand positions for comfort and ease of treatment. And finally, selection of the correct needle, which size needle to choose for the appropriate hair thickness. Selection of the best needle is very important to the electrologist because it both conducts and positions the current. There are two main types, one piece and two piece. The one piece needle is manufactured from one solid piece of metal. This gives it limited flexibility. Good flexibility is crucial in an electrolysis needle as we'll see later. The two piece needle as produced by Sterex is manufactured in two parts. The shank which fits into the needle holder and the shaft which goes into the follicle. This design gives a much greater flexibility to the shaft and Sterex have perfected that level of flexibility, which allows you to make perfect insertions. Sterex needles can be used with any modality, but let's join an electrologist working with the blend technique. When inserting correctly, there is no bending or flexing of the needle. When Sterex needles are inserted incorrectly, for instance, if the insertion is too long or at the wrong angle, there will be resistance causing the needle to bend slightly. This slight bending of the needle can easily be seen and then pulled back a little or reinserted. In effect, the Sterex needle will tell you if an incorrect insertion is made. As a result, Current is never discharged to the wrong part of the follicle and treatment is comfortable for your client. Obviously, we can't see into the follicle itself, but the flexibility of the shaft helps you to almost see into the follicle and any resistance the needle meets will cause the needle to bend slightly. This visual feedback is vital for electrologists as you are really working blind and rely on the needle telling you what's happening in the follicle. If the needle doesn't meet resistance, it doesn't bend. Then, in effect, we can see that the needle is at the correct angle and depth to discharge the current. The one-piece needle is not so flexible, so it will quite naturally be more difficult to make the perfect insertion, which could easily mean ineffective treatment. Compare these two insertions, one carried out with a one-piece needle, the other with a Sterex two-piece needle. Both insertions are carried out in the same follicle. The Sterex needle shows us the insertion angle is incorrect by the slight bending of the shaft. The one-piece needle goes straight in, 
but will the current be discharged in the right place? This is so important. Let's take a look at it again. Holding the forceps and needle holder all day can be tiring unless a comfortable position is adopted. We'll demonstrate three techniques to help you. They are all demonstrated by a right-handed electrologist. Left-handed operators just need to reverse the positioning. In the first technique, the non-working hand, the left, gently supports the skin and holds the forceps. The working hand holds the needle holder. The follicle is treated and the working hand takes the forceps, removes the hair and returns the forceps to the left hand. We'll look at that again. The two-in-one technique uses the working hand to hold both the needle holder and the forceps. The non-working hand supports the skin only. After the follicle has been treated, the needle holder is then moved away from the fingers, allowing the forceps to come forward and remove the hair. It's then returned to its original position. Let's see that once more. The two-handed technique has both hands working. The right hand holds the needle holder. The left holds the forceps and also removes the hair. The needle is inserted. The needle is withdrawn from the follicle and the left hand then removes the hair. Watch carefully as we see that again. The three techniques shown have a number of variations. Try them. Experiment a little and see which one you personally feel comfortable with. Selecting the correct size of needle for the hair being treated is essential. A needle which is too narrow for the follicle will give a less effective treatment with a more acute sensation. A needle which is too large will cause bruising and skin damage. Therefore, the diameter of the needle should be as close as possible to the diameter of the hair being treated. An 003 needle is only three thousandths of an inch wide. This needle is used on the fine hairs of the cheek and jawline. These eyebrows would also be treated with an 003 needle. Slightly thicker hairs, such as those on the chin, or at the sides of this client's mouth, require a slightly thicker needle, an 004, 
which is four thousandths of an inch wide. Coarser hairs are treated with an 005 needle. Very coarse hairs with an even thicker 006. This video has shown that by choosing the correct size needle, the correct angle and depth of insertion, with the correct current intensity, you're providing your clients with an effective, comfortable treatment. Sterex, making good electrologists even better.